Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video. This one is going to be a little different as today we are discussing every single troop, hero, and pet from both the base and the builder base. Starting it off with the Lava Hound. The Lava Hound is a special Dark Elixir troop that requires a level 6 Dark Barracks. These fiery beasts can't resist chasing after air defenses, providing excellent protection for other troops. Once destroyed, they erupt into many smaller, weaker menaces known as Lava Pups. The Lava Pup is thrust out in big numbers after a Lava Hound dies, and these tiny creatures keep up the fight for a little while longer. The Archer, a sharpshooter that likes to keep her distance on the battlefield. Nothing makes them happier than single-mindedly taking down their target. She requires a level 2 barracks to unlock and use. The Baby Dragon, requiring a level 11 barracks. This fire-breathing hatchling is shy around other air units, but leave it alone and it'll throw a fit. When not around other air units, Baby Dragons become enraged and gain bonus damage and attack speed. Balloons. These units require a level 6 barracks. These promoted skeletons have traded in their joy of destroying walls for a joy of destroying defenses. Deploy them to take out pesky mortars and cannons. The Barbarian, the first troop to be unlocked at barracks level 1. This fearless warrior relies on his bulging muscles and striking mustache to wreak havoc in enemy villages. Release a horde of barbarians and enjoy the mayhem. The Battle Ram. Four barbarians holding a big log race ahead to batter down their target, dealing big bonus damage if they connect. Then they fight on with their swords. These were a temporary troop. The Hog Rider, requiring a level 2 barracks. Having tamed the fierce, leaping hog, the Hog Rider punishes those who hide behind their puny walls. These warriors have never known defeat. The Bowler, requiring a level 7 dark barracks. This big blue dude digs these simple things in life. Dark elixir drinks and throwing rocks. His massive boulders bounce off their target and hit again behind it for a double strike. The Dragon, requiring a level 9 barracks. The might of the dragons is known throughout the land. This scaly terror of the skies feels no mercy and nothing will escape the fiery splashes of its breath. The Dragon Rider, requiring a level 15 barracks. This aerial engine of destruction readily and frankly, quite excitedly, lays waste to any defense it comes across. The skeleton on board swears he's not touching the controls. El Primo, requiring a level 7 dark barracks. This mysterious masked fighter seemingly turned up out of nowhere, throwing punches that shatter walls with ease. No one knows his true identity, only that he's very strong. He's a man, and he brawls for your clan. This troop was temporary. The Electro Dragon, requiring a level 13 barracks. Possessing an iron tough scale and a breath of devastating lightning, the Electro Dragon's favorite thing is raining destruction from above. When vanquished, the Electro Dragon even pummels the ground with lightning strikes. The Super Archer. Having achieved serious arm strength, the Super Archer can now threaten targets several buildings away. The Super Barbarian, superior in health, power, speed, and most importantly, hair. The Super Barbarians are what regular Barbarians dream of becoming. The Super Giant. Super Giants are bigger than their ordinary cousins and are great at punching their way through walls. The belt is from the annual village eating contest. The Sneaky Goblin. Sneaky Goblins have a talent going unnoticed for a while after being deployed. It's usually the incredibly loud sound of resources being pilfered that gives them away. The Super Valkyrie. Not only are Super Valkyries superior to regular Valkyries in every way, they're also way more angry. The Super Wallbreaker. Who knew that rolling was so much superior to running? Super Wallbreakers use pre-ignited bombs that blow up under all circumstances. No more duds. The Minion, the first Dark Troop unlocked with the level 1 Dark Barracks. This Terror of the Skies was born out of Dark Elixir. Undetectable by the Seeking Air Mine, Minions materialize with ease but are fragile in our world. The Giant, requiring a level 3 Barracks. These big guys may seem calm, but show them a turret or cannon and you'll see their fury unleashed. Slow yet durable, these warriors are best used to soak up hits. The Giant Skeleton, big boned from early age. The Giant Skeleton was always destined to blow up more than just walls. His massive bomb damages everything around him after he's destroyed. 
the goblin, requiring a level 4 barracks. These pesky little creatures only have eyes for one thing, loot. They're faster than a spring trap, and their hunger for resources is limitless. The Golem, requiring a level 4 dark barracks. The mighty Golem loves to soak up damage, and when destroyed, explodes and splits into Golemites. The resulting Golemites have one-fifth the Golem's strength and hit points. The Rocket Balloon, retrofitted with two carefully safety-inspected booster rockets, the Rocket Balloon gets a flying start into every battle. The Super Witch, focused magic creates focused results. Instead of summoning hordes of tiny skeletons, the Super Witch summons just one really big skeleton with very formidable bone density. The Headhunter, requiring a level 9 dark barracks, the Headhunter has just one job, taking out enemy heroes. As her other job, she works at the village apothecary. She's lightweight enough to jump over walls, and her poisoned weapons make her targets move and attack slower. The Healer, requiring a level 8 barracks. This majestic creature lives to protect and aid her fellow troops. Any army is improved with her healing support, but make sure to protect her from air defenses. The Ice Golem, requiring a level 8 dark barracks. The Ice Golem has a chilling personality and absolutely zero sense of humor. He frosts over everything he touches freezes his surroundings when destroyed, and ices up when talked to at a party. On defense, his freeze effect is smaller and has a shorter duration. The Ice Hound, requiring a level 6 dark barracks. Free from all that lava-induced indigestion, the Ice Hound is ready to freeze the flow of battle. Chill out or else. The Ice Pup, unlike most pups, these ones are cold-hearted with ice coursing through their veins. You know, real cool cats. Their attacks will slow enemies. The Ice Wizard. This legendary wizard slows down enemy defenses with destructive shards of ice. This troop was temporary. The Inferno Dragon, requiring a level 11 barracks. The Inferno Dragon has learned to focus its rage into a very powerful beam that builds up over time. The Miner, requiring a level 12 barracks. These sneaky shovelers burrow underground, passing beneath walls and popping up right next to their targets. While underground, miners cannot be damaged and will not trigger traps, but they still gain bonuses from spells. The P.E.K.K.A., requiring a level 10 barracks. Is P.E.K.K.A. a knight? A samurai? A robot? No one knows. P.E.K.K.A.'s armor absorbs even the mightiest of blows. The Party Wizard. The distant echo of a kick snare or hi-hat can only mean one thing. The party wizard is making his grand entrance. Dropping fat beats and massive fireballs, he's the soul of post-battle celebrations. This troop was temporary. The Pumpkin Barbarian. Who would have thought that pumpkins make for good makeshift armor? The pumpkin helmets provide these regular barbarians some extra hit points until they get destroyed. This troop was temporary. The Royal Ghost. Upset that no one notices him? The royal ghost is determined to smash things up until he gets the recognition he deserves. He's so unnoticeable that even walls won't hold him back. This troop was temporary. The Stone Slammer, requiring a level 3 workshop. The Stone Slammer is a heavy duty, flying mountain that targets defensive buildings by flattening them with giant boulders and causes earthquakes. The Log Launcher, requiring a level 5 workshop. While Log Launcher certainly isn't the fastest or the sturdiest, it is definitely among the meanest. This trunk throwing contraption pummels everything in front of it with endless logs to open up a path to the enemy town hall. The Siege Barracks, requiring a level 4 workshop. The Siege Barracks parachutes down gracefully to first release a menagerie of Pekkas and Wizards, and followed up by the Clan Castle troops. How they all manage to squeeze inside is a mystery not really worth investigating. The Battle Blimp, requiring a level 2 workshop. The Battle Blimp bypasses ground-based obstacles and delivers your clan castle troops directly into the heart of the enemy village, all while dropping bombs along the way. However, its thin hide makes it easier to shoot down. The Wall Wrecker, the first troop unlocked with a level 1 workshop. The Wall Wrecker exists for two simple purposes smashing through anything that it comes across, and delivering the clan castle troops straight to the heart of the village. Built from heavy-duty materials, it can take a pummeling before breaking down. 
The skeleton barrel. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, just Harry, Larry, Terry, and a dozen friends heading to the nearest building in a barrel of bones. The super minion. Super minion's big forehead isn't just for show. Sniping enemy defenses from a safe distance is simply a brainy move, especially when you've grown too big to avoid seeking air mines. The Super Wizard. Super Wizard is positively charged with magical energy. He's either the smartest person in the room or else he blows the whole room to bits. The Wall Breaker. Requiring a level 5 barracks. Nothing warms a wall breaker's cold and undead heart like blowing up walls. A squad of them will make way for your ground units and they'll do it with a bang. The Witch. Requiring a level 5 dark barracks. The Witch never fights alone constantly raising dead warriors from past battles to lead her attacks. The skeleton. This undead creature poses little threat by itself, but it never fights alone, since the witch can summon an endless horde of skeletons against your enemy. The Valkyrie, requiring a level 3 dark barracks, a master of the two-handed axe. This glorious warrior runs between nearby buildings and can shred several troops or buildings at a time with her whirlwind blow. The Wizard, requiring a level 7 barracks. The Wizard is a terrifying presence on the battlefield. Pair him up with some of his fellows and cast concentrated blasts of destruction on anything, land or sky. The Yeti, requiring a level 14 barracks. This heavy hitting furry fellow digs cold weather and his Yeti Mite buddies. Hurt him and you'll make the Yeti Mites real angry. The Yeti Mite. These little guys are super cuddly, but get very angsty when their big friend gets hurt. Hurt him enough and they will swarm the nearest defense with a terrible purposefulness. Now moving on to the Builder Base. The Sneaky Archer, requiring a level 2 barracks, cloaked under the cover of moonlight. Archers can take out targets before ever being seen. Their weakness? Overconfidence. The Baby Dragon, requiring a level 6 barracks. Cute, snuggly, and prone to fire-spitting tantrums, rampant destruction has never been so adorable. The Dropship, requiring a level 9 barracks, packed to the brim with bones instead of bombs. Skeletons leap out of these balloons directly next to the enemy. The Raged Barbarian, the first troop unlocked with a level 1 builder base barracks. Why is he so angry, speedy, and vicious? Nobody's brave enough to ask, maybe it's because he can't find his sword. The Bomber, requiring a level 5 barracks. With an appetite for destruction and high quality special effects, bombers blow up anything in sight with bonus damage to walls. The Night Witch, requiring a level 8 barracks, fearlessly summons flocks of flying creatures and unlike her sister, leaves the grass in pristine condition. The Bat, bats are frightfully fast and deadly in big swarms but are easily wiped out by splash damage. The Beta Minion, requiring a level 4 barracks, attacks targets from a distance, glows in the dark, and is a maniac on the dance floor. The Boxer Giant, requiring a level 3 barracks, heavy handed and built like an ox, these giants have been practicing their haymaker punch. The Cannon Cart, requiring a level 7 barracks, a cannon on wheels, bet they won't see that coming, tons of firepower but not that sturdy. The Super P.E.K.K.A. requiring a level 10 barracks. Unstable energy radiates from the powerful suit of dark armor, waiting to be unleashed. And finally, moving on to the heroes and pets to finish it all off. The Archer Queen. This graceful huntress is a master of destructive force. Though modest in health, she snipes targets in her territory when defending, and can summon stealth and terrifying damage when attacking once her royal cloak ability is unlocked. The Barbarian King. This colossal menace soaks up huge amounts of damage and bashes anything in his path. He guards his territory fiercely when defending and can launch into a devastating rage when attacking once his Iron Fist ability is unlocked. The Grand Warden. The Warden follows groups of friendly troops and boosts them with his life aura. Attacking, he can walk over walls or fly high. On defense, he turns into a tower. Unlock his Eternal Tome ability to make nearby troops immune to damage. The Royal Champion. Over the wall and at them, the Royal Champion is only afraid of four things, and the enemy isn't one of them. She attacks with her spear at short range and throws her shield to take down those defenses once her Seeking Shield ability is unlocked. 
The Battle Machine, the Master Builder's prize invention, smashes enemy buildings to bits. What better way is there to show who's the best builder around? Unlock the Electric Hammer ability to give opponents a real pounding. Lassie, the trustiest hound to ever roam the village proper. Lassie chases enemies with unrelenting fury, unless they fly, in which case she just observes them intently. The Mighty Yak, built like a siege machine, the Mighty Yak has a knack for knocking down any walls it comes in contact with. It also flies into a rage if you knock out its companion. The Electro Owl, zaps enemy defenses into dust from a great distance. He's mostly made of feathers though, so better keep him well protected. And finally, the Unicorn. Unicorns have severe trust issues but overcoming them with love and patience is totally worth it. They'll heal up any minor or major scrapes as well as any healer. And that's gonna do it for today's video guys. I spent a little bit more time researching every single unit, and if you want a much more thorough breakdown of every single unit, hero, and pet, let me know in the comment section below so I can make much more dedicated videos to those troops. Thank you guys, and have a good one. Peace.